Hey, it's July 3rd. We're here in Montauk with Captain Savio Mizzi. There's been a good run of big striped bass here in Montauk, and we're hoping we can stick a satellite tag on a big fish. Uh, again, we want to know where these fish are going. We've tagged fish out of the Hudson River. Now we want to see where these fish from Montauk are headed. Are they going to Block Island? Are they going up north to the Cape? You know, a lot of mystery there. We're going to try to figure it out, and hopefully today's the day we, we get to get one of those big fish. We're here in uh, Montauk. It's about four in the morning. We're ready to get out there. There's been some big fish out in the rips. Yesterday we had a fish, 60 plus pounds, and hopefully we can get a good fish today so we can tag them and see where these fish go. You know, a lot of people feel these fish hit Montauk and then go cut across to Block Island, Southwest Ledge. Some people think they just keep moving north, they end up on the Cape, or Cape Cod Canal, maybe even all the way up in Maine. So. This fish will help give us some of that data and in the future we'll be taking a few more and we'll be able to track them better and see just what they're doing. Every time it seems like we think we know what they're doing, they do something yeah. different. Case in point, the fish we tagged last year, the two fish ended up out in the canyon. That's incredible. Surprise That's everybody. That's incredible. Right? That's incredible. Oh man, that, this is a big fish. Let's, let's, uh, let's get ready. No, no, I got him. Good fish, bro. Bigger than I thought. Oh, nice fish. Well, we got our fish. Uh, we're looking for a fish minimum 45 inches. Savio hooked up, 46 incher. Fought him good, got him to the boat fairly quick. Everything went smooth, stuck him with the tag, with the satellite tag. And the fish revived nicely, went right back down. Sav put us on him. Yeah. yeah. Bucktail, and by the way. Yeah, yeah. Bucktail. Light tackle. Light tackle, bucktail. Yeah. Yep. Not to like it, but no. the fish is and doing good. And it's only, what, 6.45? 6.45, exactly. So we didn't spend a lot of time looking for that fish. Yeah, you know, striped bass are one of the most prominent inshore game fish we have. And yeah, they generate a lot of money. Uh, economically, they're very important. Uh, from a sport fishing percentage, they're very important. And uh, you know, the more data we can get on these fish, the better we can understand them, the better they can be managed. And uh, very important, worth the investment. You know, these tags are five thousand dollars a piece. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so it's not a uh, it's not a cheap cheap project. And uh, hopefully, you know, with donations from the industry and from individual anglers, we can continue with this program and tag a whole lot more fish. It's worth every penny. There's no other way you're going to find out what this fish does. Yeah. Nothing. I mean, this is the way to do it. And it'll help fishery managers. Oh, yeah, no question. You know, exactly. Better understand what these fish what, are doing yeah. and how to manage them properly. Yeah, definitely. Definitely.